East. I wish to submit the report on the revised 2024 to 2026 medium term physical framework MTEP and physical strategy paper as amended. You all recall that on Wednesday, 22nd November 2023, the Senate considered the report of the Committee on Finance and National Planning and Economic Development. However, owing to the overriding economic exigencies, the federal government submitted a revised 2024 to 2026 medium term physical framework to address 2024 budget realities and to ensure sustainable, sustainable economic development for the periods. Under review, the revised medium term physical framework was necessitated by the federal government's adjustment of the projected budget benchmark price of US dollars from 73.96 per barrel earlier submitted to $77.96 as revised projection in the 2024 document. Also, the exchange rate of Naira to the US dollar was revised from 700 Naira in the earlier submission in the earlier submission to 750 Naira as a basis for 2024 budget realities. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the assumptions and underlying oil revenue projections remain almost the same. I will go to page 25. In the light of the above findings, I go to the recommendations. The committee makes the following recommendations. One, that the benchmark oil price of USD 77.96, 73.76, and USD 69.90 per barrel be approved for 2024, 2025, and 2026, respectively. That the daily crude oil production of 1.78 million barrels per day 1.8 million barrels per day and 1.81 million barrels per day for 2024, 2025, and 2026, Order. respectively, be approved, subject to NMPC confirmation of actual and verifiable deliveries. Three, the exchange rate of 750, 665.61 and 669 naira point 79 to 1 US dollars be proposed by the executive for the periods 2024 to 2026 be considered for approval with federal government vigorous drive to enhance local production of both oil and non-oil for increased foreign reserve growth. Four, that all items locally produced should be outrightly banned from importation and customs tariffs amended accordingly. Five, that the CBN should ensure that the banks have access to Forex in order to provide funds to importers and other users to prevent patronage of parallel markets. Six, that in the light of the federal government's response of physical measures to stimulate the economy by significant investment in infrastructures, small and medium enterprises, and the agricultural sector, the GDP growth rate of 3.76, 4.22, and 4.78 percent during the years of 2024, 2025, and 2026 be approved. That the inflation rate of 21.4% in 2024, 20.30% in 2025, and 18.60% in 2026 be approved. That the federal government's target setting approach and its determination to enhance the major revenue generating agency's collection efficiency will support the physical deficit estimate of $9 trillion including GOEs, is noted and be approved. Nine, that the federal government should continue to enforce the implementation of the performance management framework for GOEs by ensuring that they operate in a more physical, physically responsible manner 
while reviewing their operational efficiencies and declared cost to income ratios. That the 7.8 trillion in new borrowings, both domestic and foreign, be supported, as well as given the country's current effective debt management strategy, which has moderated borrowing costs and decreased the amount of short-term debt in the portfolio and refinancing rates be considered. That the MTEP, FSP documents and auxiliary parameters listed below for 2024 to 2026 be maintained as well. That the federal government of Nigeria recommended spending of 27.5 trillion with 18.32 trillion in retained revenue be considered. A 9.18 trillion budget deficit, including GOEs, should also be considered. 7.8 trillion naira in new borrowings, including borrowing from foreign and local domestic sources, be considered. 1.38 trillion worth of statutory transfers, an estimated 8.2 trillion in debt service, 243.6 billion in the sinking fund, all be considered. So, I think uh, most of these recommendations have already been captured, and uh, the two major parameters that we need to give approval to is the exchange rate from 750. That's the summary I'm giving my brother. All of the tax Okay, I'm now going to my last page, please. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's all right. Yeah, is I think uh, we all have the recommendations. So, uh, Senator Mpiggy, stop rushing me, please. Let me do the proper job. <laughs> okay, I go to 12. That the National Assembly begin the process of amending the Physical Responsibility Act, FRA 2007 in order to enhance the agency's ability to enforce physical responsibility and impose sanctions on airing staffs, specifically with regard to section 21, subsection 1 and 2, and section, and section 22, 1 and 2. The National Assembly Standing Committees take prompt action to review the laws governing the activities of all revenue generating agencies under their purview in order to identify specific sections or clauses that need to be amended in order to plug waste and increase the government's capacity to generate revenue. That the federal government agencies ensure deployment of ICT in the collection of all revenues by MDAs, including stamp duty collection activities in order to block leakages. Having discovered that the subsidiaries of NIPOs so created are irregular and illegal, we therefore recommended that for them to be wandered up and deregistered immediately. 16. The sum of 10 billion released by the Ministry of Finance for the proposed NIPOs restructuring and recapitalization be investigated and the funds fully recovered if established to be injudiciously utilized by the relevant committee of the assembly charged with the responsibility of physical, respons uh, pr physical prudency. 17. That the Budget Office of the Federation, Minister of Finance and the Minister of Budget and National Planning re-evaluate the underlying assumptions for all federal government agencies' income targets in order to confirm the veracity of those assumptions and the resulting effects. Which are these things I'm going to pass them now. 18. The federal government should continuously assess the qualification. Let me go to 21. 19. Okay. I go to 21, please. That the Bureau 
or public enterprise acts be amended to remove the clause that create conflicts between it and MOFI, where MOFI should be authorized custodian of all federal assets, both liquid and physical. That the National Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited should work towards reducing its production and operational costs, thereby increasing available government revenue. All tax waivers not directly linked to non-governmental, non-profit organizations should not be granted. All tax waivers from 2015 to date should be investigated by the relevant committee of the Senate. I so submit, Mr. President. Thank you. Any, any comment? The executive adopted a $77 per barrel. But looking at the current price in the market, we will say that, um, that uh, we should express some fears. But I want to say that because of the exchange rate differences which we currently have, that can serve as a shock absorber in the, in, in the immediate. But an open that we will have a benchmark that will go up Later, as we currently stand, the benchmark, the oil price in the market is $74 to a barrel, as against $77. But as I've said, because of the exchange rate difference which we currently have, we can or we should hope that the price will go up eventually. So we can still sustain the $77 for now and hoping that we are able to return and go beyond the $77 in the, in the future. So, so distinguished colleagues, the price of United States seventy-seven point nine six dollars, seventy-three point seven six dollars, and sixty-nine point nine uh, dollars per barrel be approved for 2024, 2025, and 2026 respectively. Those who are in support of this recommendation say aye. Those again say no. The eyes have it. Recommendation two: that the daily crude oil production of 1.7, 1.8, 1.81 for 2024-2025 and 2026 respectively be approved, subject to NNPC's confirmation of actual and verifiable deliveries. Those who are in support of recommendation two say aye. Those again say no. The eyes have it. Recommendation three: the exchange rate of 750 now uh, yes yes because Mr. President, by the definition of this report, it's titled Report into Law. Because that is why it was revised. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished colleague. Yes, take an amendment. Yes. Because? Let me place. Let me place. No, no, no. Exactly. I, uh, Mr. President, in the light of this, I want to move for an amendment that we adopt 800 naira to a dollar as the revised we'll support, rate, we'll support as the revised MD reform. I so move. Yes, Henry Seraki Dixon, Bayelsa West. I rise to formally second the motion ably um, raised and made to the effect that uh, the benchmark be appropriately amended to correspond with uh, the revised figures. That is 800 now per dollar. I so move. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, till, till 6.30 p.m. of today. And seconded. Those who are in support of the amendment say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Therefore, Recommendation 3 will now read that the exchange rate of 800 naira to uh, a dollar 
$669.9 to a dollar proposed for, by the executive for 2024 to 2026 be considered for approval as amended. Those who are in support of this amendment say aye. aye. Those who are against say nay. The ayes have it. Recommendation four. Any objection? Recommendation five. Any objection? Recommendation six. Any objection? Recommendation seven. Any objection? Recommendation eight. Any objection? Recommendation nine. Any objection? Recommendation ten. Any objection? Recommendation eleven. Any objection? Any election? Recommendation twelve. Any objection? Recommendation 13. Any objection? Yes. None. Recommendation 14. Any objection? Recommendation 15. Any objection? Recommendation 16. Any objection? Recommendation 17. Any objection? Recommendation 18. Any objection? Recommendation 19, any objection? Recommendation 20, any objection? Recommendation 21, any objection? Recommendation 22, that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation should work towards reducing its production and operational costs in order to increase available government revenue. Those who are in support of this recommendation say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Recommendation 23, all tax waivers not directly linked to non-governmental and non-profit organizations should not be granted. Those who are in support of this recommendation say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Recommendation 24, all tax waivers from 2015 to date should be investigated by the relevant committees of the Senate. Those who are in support of this recommendation say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Let me thank the chairman of finance and members of the relevant committees for a wonderful job on the amended uh, medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper uh, for 2022 to 2026. And to say that you have done a wonderful job in the service of your nation. Congratulations.